Good day, guys. Being here. Um, uh, hey, my, where's my cursor? Okay, so um, today, um, before we start a new exercise, I'm uh, I'm going to quickly go uh, through this one. Um, um, this is a, a mass roof by mass exercise we did last time. We tried to adjust the grids. Um, so I. I just found that um, we don't need. Uh, hang on, let, let me just fix my mouse. Okay, that's better. So I'll just quickly uh, draw, uh, just uh, draw a couple roof. So one roof. Go to side plan. D M. Another roof. Okay, so maybe just move it a little bit. What? And I'll just model uh, model in place mass and just do a quick reference line. Draw on work plan. Draw a uh, use a spline. Set a plan onto ground ground floor, which is good. I'll just start from here and uh, roughly something like this. And then we can just adjust this. So this is a. Uh, pretty much what we did yesterday and then so this is of course this is a path so if we go to 3d view you can see this is a path right if we just place quickly place a point and then we can just um, if I drag this point to at this point and then use reference pick line use draw on word plan set word plan and set word plan onto this and we can pick these two so this can be a profile and with this profile and this path we can create a mass which in this case <laughs> uh, probably because the re um, the size of this path relative to the profile is too small so maybe I'll just uh, just ignore this roof so we'll just increase this a little bit like this so I think this should work so this profile this pro path and then we can uh, still <laughs> looks like we still have some issue at this point so maybe this can help so just increase the radius a little bit uh, I'm not sure I'll just uh, have a try so go create form yeah it works and then so yesterday we tried to because when we because these are two separate uh, surface if we use divider surface and you will see these grids or uh, these grids won't match although the numbers are same so what we can do is uh, what we did yesterday is we so I'll just delete this delete it delete this delete it delete this math mass what we did is we tried to create a instead um, instead of these two separate line we create a spline and use uh, this trying to you know trying to create a spline looks like this but uh, um, actually you can uh, what I'm going to show you today is you can also do this so just one point here as a snap point and then stop here as a um, yeah. uh, looks like it's picking this one so maybe maybe instead of use spline let's just use spline through points so this way we can just quite easily snap onto three points so now we have this shape right so if we create this so use and it looks like it's a curved right um, the shape is not correct but if we are going to use so for example divided surface if I use divided surface and you can see if I reduce this number to oh sorry not this one this one to two and then if it still looks like curve right so but if we apply to a uh, uh, for example rectangle and then you can see it become a uh, this and also we can of course we can increase the number at this direction so which means so for m 50 so it's more like so this is it so we can we can we can simply just use a curve uh, arc um, spline to create this okay and then you can increase the number and then you can apply those uh, structural kind of um, um, thing <laughs> to it okay so this is it for today or oh, not for today sorry for last time and i'll just uh, finish this um 
and so today we are going to have a look at this okay so it's it looks like a a, a, a mass and using a divided um, surface okay and also this one um okay yeah i think it's quite a simple shape so let's try so i'll just quickly go create a project and use a model in place mass and i guess it's this shape is being placed using um, it can be different a uh, method so actually i'm going to just uh, uh, oh, maybe i'll do this one i'll just pl place a point here copy this okay so 24 meter that's okay just create a point and um yeah i think let me think so we can just place a point in the middle so let's go to 3d view as well so it's a little bit easier to understand what i'm doing okay so so make this a reference line once we have a point draw on face here so we can then use a point draw on word plan and place onto this point and then we can select this point we can just drag it down because we can just rotate this one 180 degrees so it will go up with a positive offset so with this one you can adjust okay um so how much you want to offset so for example you can offset by three meter go and top in here and then with this one you can just place another point another two actually place onto this vertical world plane of this point okay and then you just drag this so you can cre uh, create another parameter here so to control the offset and then we can place another one here and this time negative offset so you can type in negative three meter and then you can type you can create a parameter and use um x equals negative y to control them so they are on the opposite so once you drag this one it will also move this one okay so i'm not going to show you full uh, in this exercise but i believe if you follow me you know how to do it right so now we can create two this uh, uh, curve arc oh sorry curve and then we can make the reference line and then we can create a form from these two and um yeah, i'm not sure why it's not letting let me uh, let me letting letting me <laughs> uh, create a surface it's only giving me one option but we can always d delete that surface in that in this solid so it will leave this surface okay so and then this is i believe is something like this and then we can just create divided surface and then two to match the pattern here we have um, we can i believe we can just try something like uh, maybe this one and reduce the number and then this is it and then of course increase this number and then so this is it and the question for this uh, exercise is um so the mullion so i think uh, yeah so let's on what we need to do because we use divided surface to we use divided surface for this so we just need to create a pattern based family so create a new family pattern based here yeah, pattern based and then just need to choose select this grid uh, tile pattern grids and change it to the one to match exactly the same okay exactly the same and then from here we can just create a frame so what we can do here is usually you can just um i suggest i suggest just do it this way just place a point onto any of the reference line and then you can just create so for example we are going to create a rectangular frame so i just draw a reference line rectangle draw on word plan set a word plan pick this and then you can just draw a shape and then just you can make it reference line so once you create a frame of create a frame you can still control it and also if you need to you can add dimensions and the parameters but for this exercise i'm going to just uh, just roughly adjust the size and 
Okay, so that's it. And then we can just create create frame by selecting profile and the path. And we can load this into this and go to 3D view. And just remember, because um, it will repeat this one too, so they will be overlapping. So if I do it, so apply it, you will see this is a frame, right? And also you can add, so if you want to, you know, have some like glazing, you can just do another form. So let's H, H the frame, so temporarily hide and then select all these uh, three and then we can create another form oh it's here it's hiding here so the one on the left is solid the one on the right is surface so pick the one on the left if you want to and then you can just add so for example for this one i'll just type 10 and 10 to make a 20 mil and also i'll just type in glass to make a glaze okay so now load this in here and over overwrite and go to 3d view you will see this is it um they will be overlapping so as i said so if you can see if i i try to delete it and you can see we still have this frame here this frame here so um to solve this issue i think you can try um the other one so try you can try this one so triangle uh, check border so but you will need to go back here and change the uh, tile pattern grid to um, the same so this means you will uh, need to do it again so that's fine i'll just quickly do it so i just place a point uh, here select this and we can change the we can pick the work plan of uh, this point so okay all good and then we can just create a frame again and then once again hh select this create glazing okay so and then just type in 10 and 10 and glass oops and the glass and that's it okay so load it this back overwrite go to 3d view you'll see oh sorry we need to change this one to this and now this um okay so it looks like <laughs> uh, uh, so we solved we solved we solved the overlapping frame issue so you can see so that's one frame one frame one frame once i delete it there's no frame but we have this issue we don't have glaze here glaze here and then we don't have frame here so maybe it's it's better to just uh, let them overlapping this okay so this is it um okay so this one looks like it's the same so the difference is just uh, change this one to one okay yep i think that's it um yeah so it looks like we have some issue here so um there's not much we can do um because when we create this one it always there will be a, a corner so if you really don't want to see them so you can just go here let me just hr so instead of have you know um you one sweep you create create three okay so let's just do it delete and i'll just hh this glazing hh okay so but um oh if if it's not parametric if if you think ah oh, this is it uh, i'm not going to change the size that's fine one profile is enough if you if you're going to add dimensions and parameters to control this you need to add two okay so you need to have two on each side so for this exercise i'm just going to uh, make this fixed so just copy profile and cc copy and pick new host and place onto the reference side and then tab select so what you select you only have one um, path and one profile so create a form tab and create a form tab and create a form so now you have three frame and now load this in overwrite and go to 3d view overwrite and so you will see it will fix that issue and 
Oh, looks like hell. Looks like we have some issue. Good. <laughs> Let me just change this one to two so we have more. And looks like we have issue when creating. Okay, so this is good. So let's have a look what's 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 going on here. An error occurred. So let's click on OK. So it looks like Revit can't create. I think this is probably some issue we have in here. So, um, but I failed to making those rectangle molyan power plug. Yeah. So the reason why is when we cr when we place when we create um, create this pattern based family uh, in in this environment, it's a, it's perfectly flat. Okay. So, but when we apply this family into this uh, mass because it's curved, and then and also there's a you know sloped and uh we have some issue where uh, there's a rotation of those um those uh profiles kind of you know and then we will have some issue so to fix this one it's actually very simple so just like what i said um we need to have two profile to um if we want to make it parametric to fix this issue we can just use the same method just use two profile so let's just quickly do it so just copy cc and and click new host okay so once we have this one you can select this you can also select the profile but if you have two you can just create a extrusion or sweep just directly without that pro um that uh um that uh the, the path because in this one this path will always be straight okay so that's fine there will be no difference and then we can just drag this point to this end or you can just type in a number so zero and one so this one's close to here so it's, it should be one don't worry about overlapping points wf wireframe zero and you can also drag and okay that's it so now we can load this into here so this should fix that issue so now you can see there's no warning oh hell is this oh check board <laughs> anyway that's yeah maybe i'll just quickly quickly fix it so we're going to use uh, this one instead of checkboard and i think this will just break everything so it looks like fine but you will see oh hell there's not still there oh i'm just going to try uh, adjust this size and see see if it no so you can see every time you change the grid you change the grid pattern so you will break it so it won't work anymore so that's fine we can just uh, do it again do it again okay so quickly do it again so one so this time uh, maybe i'll just use circle because it's easier okay so I'll just make a 20 and a copy and pick new host and create a shape okay Drag it. Oh, maybe. Hang on. Let me just control Z. So, do not do not copy. Um, do not create a form. Um, do not. Um, sorry. Let me think. What I'm. <laughs> do not uh, copy a profile from a form. Okay. Always uh, copy the profile before you create a form. Because sometimes uh, when you create a form, you lost something, lost the, uh, um, I don't know, the relationship between the point, the points and the profile. Sometimes I'm not very sure, but yeah. So basically, just to do all the things first and then create a form. So almost there. I'll just use. I'll just select one point and type IC. So yeah, so it's easier. So you want to be able to uh, 
pick any of the profile or lines so only in the HR that's it load this back overwrite go to 3d view so you won't see any warning and then that's it uh, okay so the glaze oh, we, we still have uh, we needed to do the glazing sorry just go back here HH 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 select this one create a form type in pick the one le left 10 10 and a glass that's it and overwrite go to 3d view and this is it okay so um so this is it for today um, we talk about um, a quick way of doing this um, so this is last the uh, previous exercise and also we try to create some uh, form of a roof and we uh, apply some uh, mullions or frames and if you have any questions please let me know uh, i will see you next time Thank you. Bye.